I just need your attention. Most of all, I need your imagination. Captured after the massacre. First name. Last name. Ruthless criminal who has perpetrated horrendous crimes. Just like that, he said, perpetrated. <laughs> <laughs> Your own son. What absurd, impossible. Why, you don't have a son? Well, then your brother or your sister. That's right, imagine it, him or her. It's paradoxical, but it's not a mistake. He was caught with a gun in his hand. He'd been shooting, he severely wounded a policeman. Imagine it. No, you can't. It's out of the question, right? You know him, of course, it's your own son or your own brother. I mean, you talk to him all the time. That's exactly what I used to tell myself. But that boy that you're all looking at on your TV screens now, that is my son. I feel like a mailbox. Yeah, into which everybody is stuffing postcards and messages of all kinds. It seems like everybody wants to convince me, you know, that some kind of horrible cancer has lodged itself in my son's brain. That this whole idea of the armed struggle just sprouted spontaneously in his mind, like a poisonous mushroom, all of its own accord, without anybody giving him a hand, without anybody giving him a push. Little by little, bit by bit, day by day, my boy just grew the wings of the angel of vengeance and then threw himself into exacting justice for the downtrodden, stupid, snoring masses, my son! <laughs> I ask you, rather I demand, please have some respect for my intelligence. Is it really possible that none of you, of us, of them, feel even the slightest bit responsible? <laughs> <laughs> 